show you when to work in avalanche control. Doing this job means evaluating dangerous snow conditions to determine the avalanche risk. But it also means triggering avalanches to make the mountain safe for skiers, snowmobilers, or anyone that wants to venture into the backcountry. To do that, teams use ski cutting to trigger smaller avalanches or dangerous explosives to trigger huge slab avalanches. If something goes wrong on the mountain, you might have to put yourself in harm's way to rescue someone if they find themselves buried alive. Avalanche control experts can work for the Department of Transportation, the Forest Service, or countless ski resorts, making sure the mountain stays safe for their guests. One of the biggest prerequisites for the job is a fundamental love for the great outdoors. The mountain is your office. 75% of the time, that's where you'll be. A lot of avalanche control technicians have science-related degrees in geography, meteorology, or even civil engineering. There are also specialized programs offered by the National Avalanche School that can train you extensively in avalanche forecasting, risk reduction, and snow management. Not only does the job require studying the weather patterns, snowfall, and wind conditions, you need to be physically fit and able to expertly traverse dangerous mountain conditions on skis, snowboards, or even on foot.